Well, today was a busy committee deadline day for state lawmakers. Many bills will not make it out of committee as we enter the final full month of the 2024 legislative session. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake has details from a busy day at the state capitol. Committee deadline day is the end of the road for many pieces of legislation. Lawmakers add changes to some bills, but kill hundreds more. Much of the high profile legislation, such as Medicaid expansion and a new formula for public education funding is expected to be debated in conference. But talks around changes to the PERS retirement system ended today. The Senate Government Structure Committee killed House Bill 1590, the bill that would have shifted the PERS board to consist of only political appointees. I believe in the short term, PERS is just fine, but we want to make sure that we're making decisions now that keep it sound for future employees. It's very dangerous to make long-term decisions based on short-term data. There has been a significant amount of misinformation about uh, PERS and that it's going to fail and it's not sound, and that is not true. Uh, PERS is sound. Retirees are going to continue to get their benefits. Senator Johnson urges the PERS board to halt the 2% rate increase, as well as ask for a direct allocation from the legislature moving forward. Meantime, the Senate Gaming Committee attached a strike-all amendment to the Mobile Sports Wagering Act. This keeps the bill alive for the time being, but Senate Gaming Committee Chairman Senator David Blunt has some concerns. It does not protect brick and mortar, uh, so that's a concern. I mean, there are tens of thousands of people in Mississippi who work in, in these industries and these jobs, and that's important. We also want to have a bill that protects consumers from some of the predatory taxes that we've seen in other states. We've got, we've got a lot of issues to work on, but we're working on those, and we, we may have something by the end of the year. The House Judiciary A Committee kept the SAFER Act alive. That bill would define the sexes and mandates what restrooms each sex can use in a public restroom. Another bill kept alive in the Senate includes similar language. Lawmakers face their next legislative deadline on April 10th. Reporting from the state capitol, Richard Lake, 12 News.